morning, everybody. Hey, Katie. Hey, Myra Ann. Happy Sunday. Hey, Donna. Oh, hey, Peter. This is fun. We got people from all over coming to see us. Emily Bacon, if you're on here, I think your mom's having trouble um, finding the service, but I can't move. I can't switch, you know, I can't troubleshoot it. <laughs> so if Emily's on, can you help your mom? Can someone help Lisa Bacon if you um, if you're in touch with her? Hey, Jonathan, Susan, and Tina. Hey, Ro. Hey, Sue. Hey, Megan. Uh -huh. Hey, my, hey, from Baltimore, Myra Ann. Braxton's off today. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Wendell. Hey, Betsy. Hey, Harold. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Mary Lynn. Oh, great. Okay, so we have we have Lisa. We have Julie. Great. Hey, everybody. Hi, Becky. Hey, Lauren. Hi, Brenna, Brandy, and Clara. Hey, Hank. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Eddie. Good to see you all this morning. Hey, Tish. What does my coffee mug say? It says, <laughs> can you see this? It says, I like to party and by party, I mean stay home and write sermons, uh, which my sister got for me for my birthday a few years ago. I wanna clarify that I also like to go to parties. <laughs> uh, hey, Becca, hey, Mike and Linda. Um, all right, hang on, I need to check something else. It seems like maybe some people were having Trouble. Uh, Sue. Oh, great. Okay, so Sue Sherwood, we have you. Okay, Steve's saying good morning. Okay. Oh, uh oh. Hey, Joshua. I know, my sister's clever. Um, 
Susan Hill, I think I saw you comment on the video from last week. So uh, if you're here, great. And um, does someone want to text Susan real quick and just see uh, about getting her over here? Great. Hey, Jim. Hey, Leslie. Hey, Ken and Mary Alice. Hi, Terry. Okay. Um, well, let's go ahead and start church. How about that? Good morning. I'm the Reverend Sadie Lansdale, and I am the minister of the Unitarian Universalist Church of Greensboro, North Carolina. Unitarian Universalists are open-minded about the sources of truth and meaning. We're spiritual seekers. We believe firmly that all human beings are precious and that all life is interconnected. We strive to build the beloved community here on earth in fellowship with one another and in our work for justice. Whoever you are, whomever you love, however you have found your way here this morning, welcome. Our ministry team here at UUCG is me, Cindy Dillard, our Director of Children's and Youth Ministry, and Mark Freund, our Director of Music. Behind the scenes, our Congregational Administrator is Julie Hamilton. In addition to silencing your cell phones, you can take this time to minimize distractions in your online environment. If you're joining us from your phone, you'll just stay on this Facebook Live page. And if you're joining us from your computer, you might close your other tabs and keep open only this window and the link to our order of service. And the link to our order of service is in the description of um, this video. We're going to be moving worship to Zoom over the next few weeks, and more information about how to make that transition will be in your newsletter. So if you want to help us do that or think about doing that, please get in touch with me. If you are someone who, um, if you're visiting and, um, and you have been visiting online through Facebook Live, um, get in touch with me and I can make sure that you receive our church newsletter so you'll have all the information about switching over to Zoom. And um, if you're local, we hope to see you in person one day. And if you're not, um, we will not be offended when you wish to unsubscribe from our newsletter later. Uh, but we just, any of you who are visiting, we want um, to make sure that as we transition our worship to Zoom, we want you to have the opportunity to stay connected with us if you like. Um, and finally, many of you know that my mother died in January and I came back uh, full time three weeks early from a modified bereavement leave. And um, uh, the board and I have agreed that I'll be taking that leave in May. So I'll have a full week off and two weeks half time, but I won't be leading worship from May 10th to May 24th. Um, but we will do worship on Zoom, and so you will be in the capable and loving hands of Cindy and Mark and your worship associates. And finally, join us today for Zoom coffee hour after worship. We have breakout rooms and um, discussion topics, and it'll be good to see all of your faces. So especially if you're visiting and you want to socialize a little, we'd love to have you with us. Now, you might want to find a candle or a chalice in your home to light along with me. We like this chalice, symbol of our Unitarian Universalist faith, to remind us to connect in spirituality and service, to care for each other and the world, and to create loving community. Now I invite you to rise in body or in spirit for our opening hymn. Number 203, All Creatures of the Earth and Sky. All creatures of the earth and sky, come kindred, lift your voices high. Alleluia, alleluia, bright burning sun with golden beam. Soft shining moon with silver gleam, 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Swift rushing wind, so wild and strong, white clouds that sail in heaven along. Alleluia, Alleluia. Fair rising morning, praise rejoice. High stars of evening find a voice. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. <coughs> Embracing earth you day by day, bring forth your blessings on our way. Join me in our unison affirmation. Love is the doctrine of this church. The quest of truth is its sacrament and service is its prayer. To dwell together in peace, to seek knowledge in freedom, to serve human need, to the end that all souls shall grow into harmony with the divine. Thus do we covenant with each other and with God. In that spirit of unison, will you greet your neighbors in your house or in the comments? This is a really great time if you cannot hear me to let me know in the comments as well. And when we sing our meditation hymn, we allow the spirit to move through us with our breath. We sing all the things we cannot say, our prayers and our heartbreak, our hope and our yearning. We come together in song in this sacred space this morning. Will you stay seated and open your hearts for our meditation hymn number 123, Spirit of Life. Spirit of life, come unto me, sing in my heart all the servings of compassion, love in the wind, rise in the Move in the hand, giving life the shape of justice. Roots hold me close, sea wings set me free. Spirit of life, come to me. Come to me. Spirit of life, we gather in gratitude for this life and this morning. 
We celebrate the joys among us which are magnified when they're shared. If there is a word of joy on your heart, you may speak it now, lift it up in silence, or type it in the comments for me to read out loud. Mariela Perez Simons, a former member of our church, has been named as the candidate for ministry at the Fountain Street Church in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And we rejoice with her and for all those um, who will benefit from her ministry with them. Jessica's joy is family time. Lisa Bacon's sister Sharon will not have more surgery. Harold Gunn has only one radiation treatment left and Harold, we rejoice with you. Manessa is celebrating the wisdom and beauty of her grandmother. There are wildflowers. Johnson celebrates time with her dad birds. Mm -hmm. A lot of you rejoice in the birds this morning. Donna celebrates the courage and the resilience of frontliners. Warren gives thanks that her family is healthy and safe. Emily Bacon's grateful for doctors who listen. Marilyn Clayton's continuing to recover from a fall. The Home Alone Together group, Katie gives thanks for that group. Social distance, socializing, the sharing of some good news. for remaining safe from the virus. Dorothy is grateful. For being able to start over from Lynn. Betsy is grateful for Phoenix and Natasha. Harold's son Guy closed on a house. We lift up those who are sorrowful within our community and outside. Barbara Council's cat had emergency surgery and though he is recovering, Barbara's worried about the vet bill. 
If there is a word of sorrow on your heart, you may speak it now, lift it up in silence or type it in the comments for me to read out loud. For all who are sorrowful, all who are struggling now, for whatever reason, including Lynn. For Florence and Christina, who have lost loved ones to COVID-19. We continue to keep Bill Haney and Sue Beck in our thoughts and our prayers. Bill's son died suddenly a few weeks ago. People suffering from racist attacks due to COVID fear. We don't have the words for it. There's too much sorrow. Depression. The loss of Elizabeth Warren's brother to COVID-19. Marty Bergman's remembering Jimmy Brown, the husband of a coworker diagnosed with COVID-19 who lives at Camden Place. And now will you speak or type the names of those people on your hearts, living or dead, near or far, that this community might hold them in prayer and in love. Janet Plummer's son, Clark Plummer.
his nephew, Harry, Amy, Amy, Gloria, Persis, Gabrielle, Beth, Val, Skylar, Neffer, Shasta, Lauren, Kevin, Barbara Hughes, Harold, Clark and Janet, Barbara Hands, Barbara Council, Marilyn's cousin Sarah, Braxton, We send all of these prayers, spoken and silent, up to the love that holds us all. During these few minutes of silence, you can focus on something you're grateful for or someone you are remembering, especially today, or just the pace of your breath. Will you find a more comfortable place in your seat and take a few easy breaths as we settle into this shared silence together? Amen. Will you pray with me? 
from Reverend Dan Schatz. Spirit of life, hear our voices. We join with one another in the music of life. Its movements wash over us, sometimes melancholy, sometimes hopeful, sometimes defiant. It holds as we mourn, it lifts us as we celebrate, it reminds us who we are and who we aspire to be. Spirit, hear our voices from so many rooms gathered in one congregation. Give us vision, give us one another, open our hearts to your melody. We ask these things for ourselves and for those we love and for those we do not love. Amen. Our reading this morning comes to us from the poet Ellen Bass. Relax. Bad things are going to happen. There's a Buddhist story of a woman chased by a tiger. When she comes to a cliff, she sees a sturdy vine and climbs halfway down. But there's also a tiger below. And two mice, one white, one black, scurry out and begin to gnaw at the vine. At this point, she notices a wild strawberry growing from a crevice. She looks up, down, at the mice. Then she eats the strawberry. So here's the view, the breeze, the pulse in your throat. Your wallet will be stolen. You'll slip on the bathroom tiles of a foreign hotel and crack your hip. You'll be lonely. Oh, taste how sweet and tart the red juice is how the tiny seeds crunch between your teeth. Perhaps this poem hits a little close to home. Perhaps you are clutching the vine and the tigers prowl above and below and the mice gnaw slowly. Perhaps you are living alone and you are balancing physical distancing with mental health concerns, knowing that solitary confinement is a cruel punishment. Perhaps you are clutching the vine and the tigers prowl and the mice gnaw. Perhaps you are parenting at the same time that you are working from home, at the same time that you are somehow also trying to teach your own children. Perhaps the rhythms of your life has been interrupted in such a way that your days are unrecognizable to you. Perhaps your eyes hurt. Perhaps you have been laid off or struggling financially even before this virus hit, perhaps you observe the ways that the people in power do not care for us. Perhaps you are clutching the vine. Perhaps you are an essential worker. And especially for any essential workers who worship with us this morning. Hear this. As you cling to the vine, it's okay if you don't feel like heroes. It's okay if you are afraid or angry or just trying to make it through. It's okay if you don't wanna talk about it very much or if you can't find the words. It's okay if you're putting all of that aside to do what you have to do for your family, your friends, yourself. 
for the good of the whole. You are worth safe working conditions and adequate protective equipment. You are worth manageable hours and wages you can live comfortably on. You are worth the feeling of purpose that comes when you feel valued and heard in your work, when you have some control over decisions, when you see the fruits of your labor. You deserve all those things. Your employers owe you those things. As a famous preacher once said, the good news is we have the money. The bad news is it's in their pockets. A problem. Society-wide is not scarcity. It's greed. You are worth more than mere applause or publicity stunts. You are worth more than t-shirts or road signs celebrating your sacrifice. We are all supposed to make some sacrifices to keep each other safe, but you are not supposed to be a sacrifice. Alleluia, that great cry of praise from our opening hymn is a command. It means praise God. Like, hey you, praise God. Hey you, rejoice. And I confess that there is something in me that chafes at being told what to do like that. Perhaps you have heard me complain a little about the prevalence of gratitude journals as if they will fix us about self-help spirituality, just another self-improvement project that slides down the to-do list. Another thing we're not doing well at, are we grateful enough? Did we do it right? So here's a little help for all of us this morning. When things are hard, if all creatures of the earth and sky are lifting their voices in praise, this week that's the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, maybe it's enough for you to just listen, for you to just notice. The poet Khalil Gibran reminds us, forget not that the earth delights to feel your bare feet and the winds long to play with your hair. Not just that you long to feel the earth under your feet, not just that you long for the wind in your hair, but in fact, the earth and the wind long for you. This beautiful, complicated world rejoices that you are in it each of you. The season of spring around us reminds us that tiny seeds reach for life in whatever circumstance. Gravity holds you here. Maybe you know or you have begun to suspect that it wants you here. Maybe that thought is as natural to you as breathing. Or maybe it sounds a little wild, a little difficult to attribute intention to the world around us. What if you let that in a little? What if that was praise enough? There is something about the web of life of which you are a part that wants you around that wants you to be well, that rejoices when you rejoice and cries out when you cry out. Whatever is happening in your life, whatever you're slogging through or afraid of or enjoying or rewarded by, you, every one of you, we're born and remain essential to creation. Let that be our praise song for today.
Alleluia and Amen. We rise in body or in spirit for our closing hymn, Sending You Light by Melanie Damore. It's not in our hymnal. I'll sing it through once to teach you and then you can sing it back. And even though I can't hear you, I know you're there. I know you're singing along. I hear your voices even though I can't hear your song. I am sending you light to heal you, to hold you. I am sending you light to hold you in love. I am sending you light to heal you, to hold you. I am sending you light to hold you in love. I am sending you light to heal you, to hold you. I am sending you light to hold you in love. Will you join me in our chalice extinguishing words? We extinguish this flame, but not the light of truth, the warmth of community, or the fire of commitment. These we carry in our hearts until we are together again. One of the ways that we live out our mission to create loving community is to contribute financially to the ministries of this congregation and to the good work of our community partners. If you'd like to make a contribution via PayPal to the church, you can do so at the link in the description of this video. The Immigrant Solidarity Fund run by our partners at Siembra, North Carolina gets money in the hands of those who need it. Our undocumented neighbors will not qualify for the stimulus checks many people are receiving and are in need of extra support at this time. And the link to contribute there is in the description of this video as well. Our offering will now gratefully be received. From you I receive, to you I give, together we share and from this we live go in peace rejoicing in the power of love and connection we have kindled even here you can place your hands over your heart for our benediction hymn shalom havarim this is a Hebrew song that means peace, dear friends, until we meet again. Shalom, Havarim, Shalom, Havarim, Shalom, Shalom. Thy he triode, thy he triode, Shalom, Shalom.